Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a long-awaited car. We've waited since the 2019 model to get another one of these. This was an extremely popular seller at our dealership. We sold probably about 30 or 40 of these units last in 2019. Uh, this is a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas SEL R-Line. This particular one is pure white on the exterior with a Shetland beige leatherette interior and captain's chairs. In 2019, we could not keep these things on a lot. Absolutely the top seller. Now, for 2021, there is also going to be a SEL Premium R-Line, which is going to look almost identical to this one with a couple of exceptions on the outside. On the outside of the SEL Premium, the surround around the windows is going to be chrome all the way around instead of just at the base of the sill. And then also on the front end of the car, there's going to be a front facing camera. Other than that, the car is going to look exactly the same. This car does have adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring, front assist, which is your autonomous emergency braking, rear traffic alert, easy kick open hatch, chrome roof rails, an oversized reflector at the back there, chrome exhaust tips, 21 inch Brazelton wheels, and body colored paint at the base of the door. Keyless entry on four doors. Let's look inside. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn down the fan here. Super hot today. It says it's only 84 outside. It feels a whole lot hotter than that. It's the humidity, I'm pretty sure. So this one does have Power door locks, just like they have in the past. All There's nothing really different there. They've gone to a carbon fiber type finish here on the door and a brushed aluminum or kind of a silver, just a flat silver color across here and uh, carbon fiber here again. And then over here on this side too. It's not real carbon fiber, but it's just the pattern. Um, back over here, you do have one touch up, one touch down on all four windows with a window lock right here. You do have power mirrors, so your adjustments are here. What's gone is the heated mirror icon back here. It's now incorporated into the defrost system, so you have that. And then here's your remote trunk release. Just pull up on that guy right there, and that opens the back hatch. And then you lift up and hold, and it will also close it. The catch is to lift up and hold it till it closes. Okay, so up here you do have Volkswagen's digital cockpit with navigation so I can actually put that up here uh, and I can also just change the view here so using the view button right here I can change that between the dial screen crop screen I'm sorry wide screen and then the crop screen there and then back to the dial screen and then there's also a touch and hold feature there where I can actually edit the different views here if you can see that there it allows me to change the view I'm just gonna exit out of that and we'll go back to our view with widescreen there what's added this year is dynamic road sign display this car will have that um, also um, your temperature gauge is over here on the left side and your fuel gauge is over here on the right that is actually a full tank so all of the bars lit up means it's full bars disappear as you consume fuel this is Shetland beige interior so on the door handles it's Shetland beige my Atlas has Shetland beige interior and I absolutely love it. So you have that here. It's dark colored above the top here and it's dark with the same flat dash across the top and the storage tray here. But silver in the middle, we've gone over that and then Shetland beige down here. And then also the armrest is Shetland and there's a look at the seat. It's a heated seat. Over here on this side, if I can reach over and show you here, there is your control for the seat there's your forward and back and then your seat back right there you have those guys for the passenger seat the SEL is the first one where you have a power seat on the passenger side automatic headlights you also have instead of fog lights now you have all weather lights they're basically light your peripherals uh, and it's 100% LED with LED running lights you still have the coin box for storage right here a telescoping steering wheel so you can pull out push in raise it lower it lock it wherever you need it to be right there the new R-Line logo and the base of this new steering wheel with the new Volkswagen logo. So silver spokes here. The mapping of the keys is still the same except for the heated steering wheel is now up on a steering wheel. 
And this is one thing that I really like about the R-Line. You have a different grip here, like a dimpled grip across the left and right side of the steering wheel with the R-Lines. That's only on the R-Lines. There's a look at that logo again. And in your instrument cluster here, chrome colored pe uh, pedal caps down below on the, the accelerator and the brake. The foot rest is not. Over here on the radio, it's an MIB2 radio. That's AM, FM, and satellite. It comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or MirrorLink capability using uh, App Connect, this guy right here, using one of those two USB ports down there. So that's an upgrade from 2019 to 2020. Uh, and they kept it in 2021. Two USBs up there, an auxiliary port, and also a 12 volt charger port. Wireless charging right here, so you can charge your phone in the case face up right there if you turn it lengthwise. That charges it right there. And you do have a USB port inside the armrest as well. So you have three USBs up front, all usable. Two of them uh, for the radio head unit here, uh, where you can do Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or MirrorLink. This is the new key fob for the 2021 Atlas. This is stolen from the Ardeon. Uh, now you'll get two keys. Only one of them will look like this. The other one will look like the standard Atlas key from before where it's just black plastic. It's super slim, fits in your pocket nicely. Uh, doesn't take up a lot of space. Doesn't make your pocket hot, hot or anything like that in the hot weather. Um, panic alarm on the side right here. Volkswagen logo right there. Kind of nice. They haven't updated that to the new Volkswagen logo yet, but I'm sure that's coming. Push button start right here with the electronic parking brake. You just lift up to activate that guy. And then put your foot on the brake and push down to release it. Park Pilot brings up your rear view camera on demand as long as you're not moving when you do that. Um, and that also is how you turn off the front sensors and rear sensors. Like if you go through a car wash, it tends to go off. Um, and that's how you disable it. Again, the storage arm right here. What's nice about this here, this is even wider than what was in the Touareg. If, for those of you that are familiar with the Touareg, two arms up here, and you're not going to bump elbows. Super nice there. In the glove box, you do have a CD player with two SD card readers, one here for navigation, the other one over here. SD card holder right there, and plenty of room for your manuals down in, in the storage area there. Now, a big change. This was a big change to a lot of people. I think Volkswagen thought it was going to be a minor change. Not that big a deal, but it's a big deal. This mirror right here. This is what you get for your mirror. Home link mirror is a port decision. It's not a standard option. And these cars are not coming with home link garage door uh, buttons anymore. Car net buttons are up above right here for roadside assistance, uh, information, and emergency services. And those are free. Uh, those services are free for five years, your telematics. Over here, here's your uh, vanity mirror with a uh, LED light now, not an incandescent bulb, so it's a little brighter, a little cooler light. Uh, and then you have this giant panoramic sunroof that comes standard on the SEL with a power sunshade. I'm going to close that real quick so you can see that in action. That is thick enough to filter out sunlight so you don't have sunlight beating down on you if you don't want it. Uh, and then your sun sunroof open is right here as well and your dome light setups as well Now back to this mirror though. If you're looking for a car with uh, Three-door garage door memory you'll need to find one that has the home link mirror option. It's about a three hundred and eighty dollar Option, I'm not sure the exact number on that I'll have to find out But you'll want to make sure your car has it and it's a auto dimming mirror with a compass right here and three buttons down below that is no longer a standard item on any of the cars, the home link uh, setup. So you'll have to make sure you find a car that has that. Over here on the right hand side is a vanity mirror also with an LED light. Let's see, and it just thundered in, it just thundered. So I wanna speed this up a little bit. Here's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof open. There was a 20% chance of rain today. It looks like it's uh, about to hit 100%. So I'm going to close that real quick, but there's a look at it to the back there. Let's take a look at the second row. Okay, so there's a look through the contrasting carpet, the black carpet there. So you're not going to get scuffs and marks down here on the floor. Uh, you also have monster mats. The buttons are all black right here. Let's take a look at the second row. This car comes in at $47,895. The extras are going to be... $695 for uh, the captain's chairs and $285 for monster mats. As we climb in the back here, while it's thundering outside, 
we do also have a sunshade right here. That's standard in the SELs. That just lifts up. That protects your kids, your babies uh, from direct sunlight there. And here's that dark trim at the top, beige at the bottom. Uh, plenty of room for bottles and cups and things to be stored. Here's a look at the uh, center uh, console here. Two USBs right here for charging and then a three prong plug in right there for um, charging a laptop or something like that. Climate controls right here. You can also lock it out up front there. Speaking of that, you do have on the menu options, you can actually run your climate control from up front here. Uh, you can lock out. Um, also, you can sync driver one and driver two. There's a look at your heated seats right there and right there. Um, and by syncing this, both sides match. By turning off the sync button here, I can now have a, a isolated temperature on this side. As you see, it changed up here too. So I can have heat on one side and cool on the other at the same time. And also I can control the back area as well. Now, there's something called air care. Air care is only available when all the windows are up and the sunroof is closed and the doors are shut. So uh, you see that little blue line there that will expand to cover the cabin area uh, when it's working. Uh, what that does is basically it's filtering the air before it circulates it through the cabin. Really nice feature there. And then also you have that rest button there that's going to continue to circulate air in the car when you turn the car off and leave the car for even a short distance or a short uh, period of time, like to go in a convenience store or something like that. Now, look at that instrument cluster there. That's how it looks with the navigation set up right there. There's your center console right there. And I want to change this back to the radio. So we have the radio there. And you look through here, it's nice and clean and functional. Nice big armrest for two elbows. Here's a look at the captain's chair set up here with latch hookups right here and here in each of these seats. Now these do have a bench option. Um, so you can get the car with the bench. In that case, there is a seat right here as well. And also latch hookups for a third car seat in the middle row right there. There's your emergency seat release right there. And then a look at the back two rows. The headrests do flip up with the flick of a wrist. Notice how high off the floor those seats are. That gives you a nice natural knee angle, not having your knees in your chest. Knees in your chest translates into uh, discomfort and basically just cramped. Uh, also, there's a sculpted roof line back here. Uh, so you could get a 6'2", 6'3", even 6'4", person back there comfortably, and they're not going to complain about the ride. Down here on the floor, I never really talk about this in the videos, but if you notice, the transmission hump is super, super shallow. That's because the engine sits lower in the engine bay, and it, sits, it gives this car a, a lower center of gravity, tighter turning radius, and also we're not stealing legroom or headroom from the interior because that transmission hump is only about two inches deep so you do have a lot of space here and i have a lot of leg room right here so let's take a look at the rear hatch as the storm is getting ready to come in so i'm going to do speed this up a little bit so there's a look through from the back this is a true six seater these seats will fold flat just like that just like that and you have these straps that are attached with velcro you just pull on them and you can pull up that seat there's a look through from the back to the front. A look up at that giant panoramic sunroof. This one comes with cargo blocks, monster mats, and on purpose, we leave the front license plate off. They were installed by request due to the way the front end looks. Most people don't want that added to the front of the car or they're buying out of state and they don't require it. Um, there's a look at that 12 volt charger port right there. Underneath the floor right here, this, this one here, has a spare underneath the carpet here. There is no cargo cover there. That is an optional item. Um, so if you're looking for a cargo cover, make sure you find that or you can order it through your parts department. There's a look at the easy close hatch there, the button there, and there's a big thunderstorm coming. So if this video has helped you in any way, please make sure you ask for me. My name is Reese. You can reach me at 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. This car comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles, with two years of free maintenance. In addition to that, we will give you three, a third year of free maintenance, free of charge at our dealership. That is a local deal only, so you'll have to get that one here. The first two can be honored at any other dealership. Also, 
If you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, you're going to get a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. That is nationwide. doesn't matter if you live in Arizona, Texas, Alabama, Montana, Utah, Oregon, Florida. doesn't matter. 10 years, 200,000 miles, nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. If you're interested in this car or any other car, please give me a call, 636-290-4257. On Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.